Hi, this is Amy, your SES librarian. This video will show you how to do a basic article search in a library database. We'll start at the library's homepage, which is library.uncg.edu. From here, I will click on Research Guides by Subject in the red search box. Then I'm going to find Specialized Education Services and click on it. This guide has general resources to help you out, but there is also a special guide just for 601. On this page, you will find a variety of resources that will help you with this class. On the right side of the page, you can see my contact information. You can click the blue button to make an appointment with me for a virtual or face-to-face -face research consultation, or you can use the chat service. If the box is purple, you will be talking directly to me, but if it is yellow, you can chat with one of the other reference librarians. At the top of the page, there are tabs to take you to different resources. Today, we're going to focus on finding articles, so I'm going to click on that tab. Here you will see a list of the most important article databases for you. We're going to use Education Source because that is probably going to be the most relevant. If you're logging in from off campus, it will require you to log in with your UNCG username and password. Now we can do some searching. I'm going to put one concept per box. So if I want to find articles on inclusion and early childhood education, I'm going to put inclusion in the first box and early childhood education in the second. Then click search. Now I can narrow to a specific date range or limit my search to articles from scholarly journals. By moving this bar, I am narrowing my search to only articles from a certain date range. So I'm going to choose 2000 to 2016. As I said, you can also limit just to articles from scholarly journals. Now, if I find an article that looks interesting, I can click the title to read the abstract to learn a little bit more about the article. If I want to read the whole thing, I can click the full text link on the left. From here, I can email a copy of the article to myself, or I can generate a link that I can use to get back to this article later. There's also an option over here to cite the article. If you click on that, it will give you some citations and a variety of different citation styles. This is a good starting point, but I always re recommend double checking this citation using a source like the OWL at Purdue. Now sometimes there won't be a link for full text. That doesn't necessarily mean we don't have the article, but there are a few extra steps in order to check. Click the check for full text button. Then if it is available, there will be a view full text link. If not, you can request the article through interlibrary loan. If you have questions, you can use the chat function inside the database or contact me directly. Thanks for watching.